Neon, I'm coming into this, uh, th- this here show, podcast, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm huffing and puffing mad because I just learned about this other channel that's been stealing our recordings and uploading them to YouTube. They- they've been using AI voiceovers of us, all right? We're, uh, me and Neon Manta, we're both the hosts of the, the world-renowned show, pretty much the only show on YouTube, Cast Away the, the only show on the internet. Yeah, frankly. We invented uh, speaking into a microphone. Well, we made microphones. These are, these are the only microphones in the world. But anyway, these degenerates who have this channel literally cribbing our entire style. They called it Castaway Anime. It's literally like the same (laughs) title, almost exactly. And they're using AI voiceovers of us to make this show. And they're so good at plagiarizing. They made their show before we started ours and they were already using AI versions of our voices. It is genuinely despicable. I don't even know how they did it. They they must have like robbed well, our I'll, house. I'll, I'll tell must, you what, like, Crunchy. I'll, I'll let you on a little, a little secret. I, I've I've known about this too, and I've been launching i been launching a cybersecurity attack on them, and I've uh, gotten their I- I- illegal information. Their I- information illegally. Uh, nice. You probably shouldn't be re- <laughs> admitting that live on the air, but you know what? We can cut oh, it out. I did post. it in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, Minecraft. Minecraft. <laughs> do, right, do, so, do, do, do not, I'm truly humble under God, you gotta understand. <laughs> Very truly humble. Uh, yeah, we're talking about, first of all, the Young Thug trial, and the fact that Bleach was referenced in it. Yeah, this is, this is like the most possible relevant thing that we can talk about to the podcast, uh, considering what we talk about on Castaway Anime and where we currently are in it. So, for a little little frame of reference, uh, so for those who are not in the loop, Young Thug is a rapper. He's uh, won, uh, I think, a few Grammys. I'm looking at his Wikipedia page right in here. He says uh, he won the Grammy Award for Song of the Year for his contributions to... Uh. Oh, God, excuse me. <laughs> Childish Gambinos. This is America. I'm drinking right now, by the way. So, if I am oh, so that was nonstop, that. that is why. That, that was okay, some Mike's Harder Black crack- Cherry. <laughs> I, I heard you crack open a drink, and I was like, is he drinking, like, seltzer water? Uh, there's no, no way he's I'm drinking cracking Mike's open Harder a beer. Black Cherry. <laughs> uh, so, there we go. Yeah, so uh, right now, Mr. Thug is in a little bit of a hot water, because since May of last year, he's uh, been held in uh, jail without bail uh, on remand due to being charged with violating the Georgia RICO Act, which is basically saying uh, racketeering is a federal crime, uh, as well as 56 counts of illegal substance trafficking or firearm possession changes. Uh, he uh, was arrested along with a bunch of other 27 other guys from whatever YSL is. I imagine it's like his rap group. I'm trying to find anything on the page about it, but I can't see it. I don't. Oh, here we go. His record label. YSL Records, uh, on gang-related charges. Uh, he has been denied bail four times, and it was it got so bad that his most recent album, I believe, Business is Business, got released while he was in prison. So, uh, it, it wasn't a posthumous release, it was a, uh, post-incarceration release. Yeah, things are not looking good in the world of Young Thug, and uh, I'll, I'll freely admit I'm not a- extremely knowledgeable on the trial. Uh, ne- Neon li- was literally doing research uh, for while we were in call together, like setting up. You're like, okay, this is why he was, <laughs> why he's incarcerated. Yeah. So the reason that we bring this up is because uh, in the trial, he's uh, he's Young Thug is. In more trouble than your average, uh, you know, guilty person. Well, okay, we don't know if he's guilty or not, but uh, he's got 56 counts of <laughs> illegal substance trafficking and firearm possession charges. No, you don't understand, with- Neon. They're all fraudulent. Each and every <laughs> single one. We don't, you know, innocent until proven guilty. But if I were a betting man, I'd say he's he's not getting out of this one with the, the, the squeaky cleanest of records. Yeah, but during the trial, uh, ne- Neon was giving me some exposition to the clip that I watched about, uh, let's say, 10 minutes ago, something like that. 
apparently this is someone who is and we, we might put it on screen well i might uh i'm not sure but it's basically I'll, this... I'll, I'll record it and i'll send you the recording and you'll have to forgive how scuffed it is because the people at the trial i can only assume they're fucking boomers who don't know how audio tech works they probably recorded the uh the trial in stereo on one microphone and that's why it all comes out in one channel and the microphone was also a toaster, so... This reminds me of this anime named Bleach, where it's 16 seasons, every episode is about 18, 20, 20 episodes. Sorry, every, yeah, every season is 18 to 20 episodes. And they have season 4 and 5, they have these bouts. They're the villains of the whole thing in season 4 and season 5. The main characters are trying to get them out of Soul Society. You go to season 6, you don't hear about the bounce. You go to season seven, you don't hear about the bounce. Why don't you hear about these important characters? Because they're filler characters. It's a filler season. We are rebellious, we're fillers. We're not integral to the story. They just drag him out of prison to jail. It's literally like, it, it, it's the funny mic, a uh, fucking ear rape. Uh, in one ear, so the other ear is just left to contemplate in silence the abyss or whatever you want to comp uh, contemplate. Then the other half of you is just getting blasted with <laughs> with her explanation of why, Ayo, you're... Uh, okay, so basically she was, to my understanding, roped into the trial because she was like associated with the young thug stuff. And she's essentially saying, young thug... Uh, yeah, focus on him instead of me, because I'm I'm a side character, a filler character. I didn't do nothing. I'm like a I'm like tangentially related at best, and the way she gets this ac uh, across is by talking about Bleach, and she goes in the Soul Society arc. You know, you got all these villains that are super relevant to the overall story, and they come back later. But then, wedged between that is the, you know, these two seasons, which by the way, I don't know what seasons of Bleach correlate to which part of the show. I don't even know who put the, uh, separated I think, them into I think seasons. The ble I think I think it was either Viz or Perot or whoever, I, I, I don't know. I, I saw on the Bleach, Bleach Wiki that uh, the Bount arc is separated into two halves, like how the Soul Society arc is separated into two halves, but I, I think that's what she was referring to. Yeah, and the bounce arc. Granted, I don't know anything about it, but apparently it's. And, got we, and we never will because we're not watching <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, we're and skipping that, that, right that's past why this, it. That's why this is like so hilariously timed because not only did this actually happen, which is funny in a vacuum, but it's extra funny to to you and me because at the point of where we're at in the Bleach podcast on Castaway Anime, we're watching Bleach for the first time together. Uh, we just wrapped up the Soul Society arc. And we have already came to the conclusion at the beginning of covering Bleach that we're going to be skipping all the filler because ain't nobody got time for that shit. So we're skipping all. And apparently, I, I found this out uh, after the fact with all this uh, young thug stuff going on. Because uh, I, I didn't know much about uh, what was beloved and what was hated in Bleach. Uh, I knew that Soul Society was like one of the most beloved arcs and... Uh, there's an arc, a canon arc later in the show called Fullbringer arc, which is one of the, I think it's the least liked of the canon arcs, but there's a, uh, the opinion on the Bount arc is that it is one of, not just one of the worst arcs in all of Bleach, but one of the worst arcs in like any shonen ever. Well, now you're making me sort of want to at least try out an episode or two of it. Just to get a get a sense of what it's like. Uh, but, yeah, I would, but with like one hundred fifty odd something episodes of Bleach, Canon Bleach left for us, it, the idea is less than appealing. True, it would take a while. But apparently, in her analogy, the uh, all the villains in that arc, you no, know, they're not relevant in the long term. They're just put there, uh, you know, to give the filler arc a story at all so she's essentially saying bro you're looking at the filler villain right here we ain't relevant to the overall uh, you know overarching story meanwhile you've got this eyes and looking ass young thug and you aren't going <laughs> after him excuse me 
Oh, I, I, I really hope someone has drawn Young Thug as Aizen now. I really hope there's some Bleach fan artists who have have taken this situation and ran with it creatively. That w it, I need as uh, as much fan art as there is of Gumball punching Dream. I need that level of c community <laughs> coming together to create goofy fan art for it. So now it's on to and our so final this... topic of the day. Yeah, we, we wanted to tie this one in uh, with Young Thug and, you know, doing things that will end your career. Uh, that we had, there was this tweet that was, at the time, uh, that was made in mid-September, floating around the web, being like, uh, hey, this is like a pretty fun thing to do, so let, let's, let's talk about it. Uh, we have a list of uh, anime and manga characters, and who would, which one of them would get cancelled first if they had Twitter? All right, and do you have the tweet link on hand? Uh, yeah, it's in the uh, the pins. You should be able to find it. So on this list, we have M uh, Mineta from My Hero Academia, Makima from Chainsaw Man, or Frieza from Dragon Ball. Uh, what? I assume that's they're not talking about uh the the brain guy who's in inside of uh. Oh fuck! What, I mean, what this was his was... name again? I don't think he had a name. No, no, uh, no, no, not not the brain guy, but like the the guy who he possessed. What was his name again? Oh, Geto Suguru. Yeah, yeah, Geto. Okay, yeah, I, for some reason it wasn't coming to me. Uh, yeah, Geto from Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, Rudeus from Mushoku Tensei, Jiraiya from Naruto, Kazuma from Konosuba, Denji from Chainsaw Man, and Meimei from Jujutsu Kaisen. All right, so a lot of these are from shows that I haven't seen. Well, three of them. And of the remaining ones, I will admit my memories of Konosuba are at this point pretty fucking old. But, you know, we can go through the list. And I'll be supporting the conversation for Mushoku Tensei. I was literally, uh, while I was in the shower, I was just devising a mo uh, like, I was thinking about it and I was like, how quickly would Rudeus get cancelled? Now, I've devised my explanation of how quickly I think he would. And I think we'll, it'll be pretty interesting to see. Yeah, so I, I feel like the, the best way to tackle this uh, discussion is to go in order from least likely to get cancelled to most likely to get cancelled. Well, to be fair, I don't have, like, a set in stone uh, most likely to get cancelled, especially because I haven't heard of some of the others. But I guess w let's talk about... Well, okay, first of all, we need to clarify the question. It's not if they would get cancelled, it's which one would get cancelled the fastest. And this is an important distinction to make for some yeah. of these characters. Because if they can hide yeah, it, then they can, you know, <laughs> they, they can stay uncancelled for a long time. It's like the scale, of, and like the scale that some of these guys have done of, you know, things that are worth getting cancelled over is a, a very large gradient. But first of all, I, I just want to mention, would Denji even, like, I don't know what he does in the manga, but would he uh, even I, get I, I'm glad you brought him up first, because I, I don't think, why would Denji get cancelled? What, what has the Denji done wrong? The only explanation I can think of is that he's a horny teenage boy, but C like- Congratulations, so is like most teenagers. <laughs> yeah, like you just described teenagers in a nutshell. Like, the, okay, the only thing I can think of is Denji getting falsely cancelled. Because, you know, he, he had the whole thing where it's like, Power, let me touch your boobs, uh, you know, for saving you or whatever. And it, But that was consensual! Yeah, it was, but here, here's what I'm thinking might happen. Years down the line, when he has a career built up and everything. And by the way, I'm imagining these characters as, like, YouTubers. Like, let's say after the show, they just become YouTubers and do that for a living, right? And he'd be doing that for a few years, and then someone from his past would be like, Hey, I, I remember back in the day, he was a teenager, you know, he he, did, he, he was a little frisky. Uh, Power didn't, you know, he, she was none too kind to that. And then there'd be a hate mob on him for, like, a week before Power comes in and is like, Nah, fam, I was cool with it. And then it died out. That <laughs> fact, is what I would imagine my idea. would happen. <laughs> exactly. And then power gets cancelled instead. <laughs> power gets cancelled instead. 
Yeah, uh, yeah so but no, Den Denji does Denji. not belong in this list. The the worst. If if being horny is a crime, then fucking lock me up, throw away the key. Put now, me in the May fucking chair. Mei Mei is another one that confused me a little, but I at least get the impression that people wouldn't respect her. Be I mean, maybe um, okay, in the so sense that she's intimidating. Th this is the th this is the only issue with uh well one of two issues that we'll get into, uh with this list for you is that whatever Mei Mei is about to do it w or yeah that will is cancel worthy cancelable. Uh, it's coming up in the final few episodes of the Shupui arc that we're watching. Oh, so I just don't know what she's done yet. Yeah, um, but I will say it's not a spoiler because it's, like, not plot. It doesn't impact the plot at all. Uh, but I will... And you, you, knowing you and knowing that the characters that she's with at the current moment in time, you pr can probably, like, guess what she's guilty of. Or at the very least, allegedly guilty of. Uh, what, incest? Probably. Oh, is that, like, implied? I think it is implied. I, I'm not 100% because I have not read the manga and we have not gotten to that part in the anime yet, but from what I understand... And isn't, isn't that other... It, it, uh, I think it's, like, her brother. Isn't he, like, way yeah, her younger brother than her, so it would also be pedophilia? Yes, she... she is allegedly a pedophilic uh, incest fan. So that comes down to she she is cold and cunning and a capitalist. Very very capitalistic. Needs all the money in the world. And well, yeah, very base. before I learned about that, I was just gonna say, oh well, people wouldn't respect her because she only cares about money, and she's very open about it. Uh, and to be fair, that would give people a vendetta against her, and meaning that they would look into her very frequently. And so that would contribute to her downfall. Yeah, they'd, they'd be all like, downfall. eat the rich, but meanwhile, not knowing that uh, she's all about like, hey, we we eat me, I'm the rich. So how open is she about this alleged... Uh, well, let's just say not not very wholesome relationship, not not ooh, ooh small bean uh. relationship. Um, okay, I'll tell you what. Ha uh, I'm not. Uh, I don't know all the full details, and I promise you, this is not like a spoiler to the overarching story of Jujutsu Kaisen. I I looked into it, uh, and like all from everything that I've seen, it does not Im impact the plot at all. Um, at the end of the Shibuya arc, she and uh, Wee Wee. Uh, travel uh, the world together, and they're last seen sleeping in the same uh, hotel bed. And I think they say, like, I love you to each other. Uh, but it's, like, in the way where it's, like, it's open to interpretation, whether it's, like, you know, sibling love, fam familial love, or uh, naughty incest love. Uh... We, we, we know for a fact that Wee Wee does, like, respect her, and one Sam is the fuck out of her, and is, uh very like protective of hers and she's protect uh in her own fucked up way protective of him so it okay so if that's all the evidence then i'm gonna go out and say that uh may may although would probably have a lot of enemies and would probably have a lot of speculation that would eventually maybe even lead to her downfall uh, considering it's not even, uh, we're not even entirely 100% sure she's guilty of it, I'm sure she'd always have that little asterisk next to it being like, yeah, but you can't prove it. And I think that would contribute to her, uh, you know, in the long term, survival. Yeah, so, uh, I, I think uh, that she's ranks, uh, either, like, low or middling on the list. Yeah, probably low to middling. She's at least more cancelable than Denji, who is almost certainly rock bottom. Yeah, Den Den no, I can promise you right now, Denji is dead ass last on this list. Uh, let's see. Who who, who do you think is the next most likely, least likely to get cancelled? Rather. Well, of the ones I know, I probably. Uh, well, of the ones I know, I'd probably say fucking Makima, but I don't know the other, uh, like, the, the Hiroaka dude, Free Frieza, I think that's yeah. his name. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah, it is Frieza. 
and whoever the dude from Naruto is. Uh, Jiraiya. So are, Jiraiya. Are any of them more, uh, like, less cancelable than Makima? Um, I want to talk about Frieza first, because, uh, see, Frieza poses an interesting thought that I, I want to throw a wrench into this whole thing. Now, on its surface, Frieza is, like, very, very cancelable. He is outwardly racist towards Saiyans. He calls them monkeys. So he and, uh, Gato have that in common. Uh... And he goes around, and he's a mass genocidal murderer. He's basically Space Hitler. That sounds like the most cancelable character on this list. Yeah, but see, here, here's the thing, though. I don't think you can cancel Frieza. Because I feel like if you try to cancel Frieza, he'll like, okay, so let me let me do a little roleplay real quick. I'm, I'm going to pretend that I'm Frieza. Oh, hey, I'm Frieza Dragon Ball. I'm going to pull out my phone, check out Twitter. What's this? I'm being canceled online for being racist towards uh, the mo those damn monkeys, those damn Saiyan monkeys, and for, you know, being Space Hitler. Um, okay. Hey, uh, planet Earth. Uh, boom, you're dead. I just blows up the planet. True, but I will say, though, the tweet doesn't say anything about successfully canceling them. And that, I think, is an interesting qualifier. Because Frieza would, in the example you provided, he would get cancelled. He just wouldn't care. And in no, fact, he would he, kill he, all those who opposed him. Yeah, he would blow up the planet if uh, he was like, oh, I got cancelled? Yeah, okay, yeah, goodbye, Earth. And they just death ball it. I'll leave a pin in it for now, as we look over the other options. But and I kind I, I kind of want that to, it doesn't uh, say successfully canceled. It is canceled first, so I do want to swing it back around to Makima now, and uh, I can't get into what she does in the manga that has not been adapted by the anime because that's a massive spoiler. And I know you're trying to keep yourself spoiler free on Chainsaw Man. Yeah, uh, I mean I I knew going in that she did a lot of stuff. Uh, beyond the manga, but from what I've seen so far, yeah, obviously she's <laughs> sussy to say the least. Not exactly. The, the worst a at, at the point person. in the anime right now, the worst crime she's capable of is maybe like. Oh, well, how, how old is Ma Makima supposed to be again? I know Denji's supposed to be a teenager, but like, how old is Makima? Uh, Makima I age. don't remember exactly, but I, I got the impression like late twenties, early thirties. I, I I was thinking like twenty yeah yeah n no older than mid twenties. There's probably like at at most a ten year age gap between her and Denji. And uh, because of that, uh, the worst thing because she has uh, done things like, uh, you know. No, they haven't like mouth to mouth kiss. They only uh, she only put a lollipop in his mouth. But uh, she is definitely uh, in a way grooming him. Well, yeah, obviously. She's uh, basically taking advantage of his feelings towards her. And in fact, well, you know, everyone who is in love with her. Taking advantage of their feelings in order to make them subservient to her. And in that sense, yes, she is extremely cancelable. However, she would also have stands at her beck and call ready to defend her at all points. <laughs> Which raises yet another interesting conundrum. Because well, see, I'm... the funny thing is, that statement is more true than you even realize, and I can't go into it any further than that without getting into spoilers. Well, let me guess, there are people who actually uh, justify Makima in real life in the fandom. Is that what you're getting at? Uh, no, in-universe. In-universe? Okay. <laughs> then not, not just in the fandom, but in-universe. And that's all I'll say on that. Yeah, and... I mean, I'll, I mean, I would I'll also imagine say that's that the, the gr grooming Denji is the le like the least worst thing that she she's gonna do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, but, but see, she does always have a facade up, though. She is trying to be seen as uwu pretty, and in that sense, uh, well, it it also raises an interesting philosophical question about canceling, you know, because. There would almost certainly at some point be a lot of people who, you know, finding out about the things she's done, 
try to cancel her, but then she'd have an equal amount of people, at first anyway, defending her and standing her, you know, saying, Stan Luna, Stan Mon- Denji would be on the front fucking lines on Twitter, white knighting her to help Kingdom Come. And that's the thing, he, like, he's the victim in the scenario, but then the victim is going to go out and say, Yeah, Makima didn't groom me. And then everyone else is going to say, Yeah, that's because you were groomed. Of course you don't realize it. That's what grooming is, Denji. Then he, but he'd and still be there, there on the front lines. There, there's also a similar thing to Frieza. Not quite on the scale of Frieza, because Makima's not that powerful. Uh, because that's fucking Dragon Ball Z scaling, but... Uh, similar to Frieza, there is a thing about her where I don't think you can cancel Makima. Okay, and so by, unfortunately, I can't, I can't, I can't go into that without getting into spoilers. That that's the only hard part about uh, this conversation that we can't talk about Makima specifically without uh, yeah, spoiling so Chainsaw Man. I guess we can put a pin in both of those for now. Uh, yeah, I, I would say you can next? try to cancel Makima harder than you can Frieza because uh, Makima will not destroy the planet if she's getting canceled, but Frieza will certainly will. So I, I would say Makima would rank higher than Frieza. So next on the list, um, let's see. Let, let's let's talk about Mineta because. He's in a similar boat to Denji, except uh, he's got more haters than Denji. Okay, so uh, you'll you'll have to explain to me what his crimes are. I think I have a vague idea of what they are, but I want to hear you say them. Okay, so Mineta, you probably know this. He is the perv character of my. I did know that he... much going into this. Yeah, so uh, he is a, a little perv. He. The, the worst thing, he he, al he never gets away with it. He always gets punished, aptly so, but uh, he, he he's definitely the most punished character. He, uh, the word, I'm trying to recount all the things that I remember him doing in the anime. Uh, he tries to peek through a, a hole from the men's uh, locker room in the school to the women's locker room. Uh, he gets uh, a, the, you know your, fav your best girl, Jiro, right? Headphone jack girl? Uh, phone jack, yes. Uh, yeah, when he tries to do that, she, uh, sends her earphone jack through the hole and stabs him in the eye when she, when he tries to peek. Based. Yeah, so that happens, um, when they're at a, uh, training camp in season three, uh, there, there's a outdoor bath, a hot spring that's separated by gender, and he tries to climb the wall that's dividing them to peek at the the his class female classmates, uh, but then gets stopped by uh, someone at the top of the wall who then throws him off. So basically, and... Denji, but with no self control. Yeah, like yeah, D Denji for as horny as he is, at least he has self control. When when Denji is straight up offered sex by uh, uh, Himeno, and with like no. There's uh, aside of her being drunk and she would definitely regret it after the fact, but she d the more of the blame would lie on her because she's she even though uh, is the more adult. cancelable than Denji, funnily enough. Yeah, yeah. So like even when he is straight up offered sex and he has like been thinking about it because like he says like one of his top goals is to have sex, but then he realizes because of this scenario that he's like, I want to have sex, but at the same time. I want to have my first time with be with Makima because I love her so much. So yeah, because he's. Being uh, I'm rude. sorry, Himeno. I'm gonna have to say no to your to your uh pussy. Meanwhile, uh, Min Mineta. If Mineta, Mineta was in Denji's situation, yeah. he would uh, the, not th thought twice about it. He would not. He wouldn't th think once. He'd already be uh, banging her. But here's my question: How old is Mineta? Because he looks young. Younger than Denji. I let me let me see if there's an official age. Uh, Mineta age. Uh, at the start of the show, he is 15 years old. Currently, he is 16 in the manga. But okay, so I think, believe most of his crimes are uh, when he was 15 years old. Alright, so with that... Uh, he, he's definitely more cancelable than Denji, and I'm sure there would be a lot of people trying to cancel him. I also think there'd be a lot of people canceling his parents. Asking, 
why did you raise your son I, to be like this? I don't think we've ever seen Mineta's parents. Well, granted, we don't see a lot of the parents of most of the characters in the show. Oh, uh, we do yeah, see Jiro's he, parents. But anyway, his hypothetical parents that probably exist. I imagine they, it, it, it would be split evenly between Mineta and his parents. And that was what uh, that would be what the backlash looks like. He also, and I'm just judging this from his character design, doesn't seem like someone who's very calculating and would hide the fact that he feels this way. He's probably doing it openly, and everyone oh, knows. Oh, no, yeah, he, he is not... He, he, he's open... Every time uh, he tries to perv on the ghost, he, like, almost makes a show of it to his friends. Like, uh, when he's in the men's room, he's like, Yo, Deku, check this out. Uh, there's a hole in the men's locker room. We should look through it. And Deku's like, hey, no, you shouldn't be doing that, uh, Mineta. And he's like, oh, come on, bro. What are you, are you fucking gay? And then he gets promptly punished for it. Um, that being said, it is canon that none of his uh, female friends, like, despise him. There's a moment in the very same uh, third season when he tries to peek on the girls over the, the, the shower wall or whatever. Not the shower wall, the, the bath wall. Uh, where they're in the uh, hero exam, where uh, passing and failing uh, is the difference between getting your superhero license, where that means you can do superheroing uh, in public without, you know, adult supervision. So when he's in a position where he's about to get uh, eliminated from the test, uh, the pink acid girl, Mina Ashido, uh, does a move to save him. And, uh, it's like, yeah, well, at the end of the day, we're, like, we're, we're still classmates, and I, uh, I'm, I'll keep you safe, dude, as long as you got my back, too. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm not sure if that would defend him from a Twitter cancel. It won't. It won't. Dude, he is, like, all, he's, like, the least favorite character, uh, in the fandom. They, wow, they all I can't him. imagine why. Yeah, because they remind him of themselves. I, I, I mean, I, I would hope not. I would hope uh, you're well, not I'm just, like I'm him. just saying, I'm just saying, you can't hate Mineta and also uh, ship Baku Deku at the same time without being a hypocrite, is all I'm saying. I do not know enough about MHA to give my 10 cents on that. Uh... So, yeah, the, the thing with Mineta is that, uh, oh, yeah, I, I guess I, I'm trying to remember this uh, this one last thing he did and got a lot of sus on him. There's this uh, little girl named Aerie. Uh, let me fact check how old she is at the time. Aerie I think MHA. I've heard about this incident. Yeah, she isn't is she very young? six. She's six okay. years old. And he does not, like, try to peek at her or anything, but... There is a line of dialogue where she's being toured around the school because uh, the school festival is about to happen and they're trying to... Because she, she's just trying to recover from a traumatic experience involving the Yakuza. So they're trying to, like, you know, try to make her feel better. And then uh, Mineta says... I believe Mineta says to her something along the lines of, uh, Boy, I, I can't wait to see what you look like in 10 years. I, I, I bet you look, like, really beautiful in 10 years. I mean, on its own, that isn't a bad... Uh, like, that wouldn't get him cancelled. But it's the knowledge of who he is that would make yeah. it sussy. Yeah, that, I, I think that's exactly it. And so... Uh, honestly, uh, the main thing that I think... I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that Mineta goes probably on the higher end of the list of cancellations. And here's my logic. He would not make any attempt to hide his wrongdoing. However, he does have an out in terms of his age, and so I'm, I imagine some people would, you know, cancel his parents in the same breath. Well, there, there, there's another aspect to it, in that uh, because he's a superhero, and in the world of My Hero Academia, superheroes are like, uh, are like famous people. They're, they're celebrities. So he's getting uh, scrutinized constantly, is what you're saying. Yeah, but grant, granted he's a student, so he's not like one of the big heroes. Uh, he's like a the, one of the entry level heroes, but if he were to, if he does not change his ways, uh, he is uh, likely to never work in this town again. Yeah, so I I think he's pretty damn cancelable. Uh, so after that, we've covered uh the top row and then Denji and Mei Mei. 
So that just yeah, well, we'll go over uh, Jiraiya next to, to to get over the characters that you don't know enough about. Uh, so Jiraiya is from Naruto. He is uh, Naruto. He's one of Naruto's many teachers. Naruto gets a bunch of senseis throughout the show, and Jiraiya is the one that's uh, closest to him, like the, the, his most personal uh, trainer. Uh, out, yeah, even over Kakashi. So Jiraiya is a sage, and his uh, his b main thing is that he is also. Uh, the perv character of his universe. He's the, uh, kind of like Master Roshi from Dragon Ball Z. He is the pervy sensei, uh, archetype. And he is one of the strongest, uh, ninja in the, in the show at the time. And he teaches Naruto the Rasengan. So, his, uh, deal is that he is an author of, uh, porn books. He does not like he, he's not an artist but he, a writer and he writes uh, erotica and well, that's, that's not really funny cancelable. did they list themselves uh well that's just the first thing that that's not cancelable by Tip itself of the ice what, a funny for you in this thing. uh yeah a, a funny joke the funniest joke about that is that uh that uh we see kakashi reading erotica in public all the time are you familiar with what kakashi looks like uh yeah i think i i think i am yeah, he's, he's the white-haired ninja with the mask. Yeah, on his okay, face. now, he's, now I he's like him. he's like proto Gojo. He, he, I, I believe uh, he. If you looked at him, you'd be like, oh, this is where Gojo got his Gojo with the from. cooler design. Yeah, ex exactly. Uh, so he one of his like funniest quirks is that he reads erotica books in public, and like no one can like fault him for it because like you're gonna talk shit about Kakashi the the lightning cutter. Yeah, yeah, good fucking luck, kid. Uh, but then we find out that Jiraiya is the one writing the books that he's reading, which is just a neat little bit of world building. Yeah, so, so far he's only cancelable among religious conservatives. So, <laughs> we're gonna have uh, to- But then, it, it does go, but how, now we get into the more, uh, less excusable parts of his character. The more, uh, uh -oh, he oh, has it's... on, uh, multiple occasions tried to, uh, peek inside, uh, the ladies' bathhouses. Well, see, the issue here is he's an adult instead of Mineta, who is a child. And so I think that on its own would make him infinitely more cancelable. Oh, and also, yeah. yeah, he's also a public figure. He's an erotica not, uh, author. And so he'd have I that for, past, I like, forget if he uses a pseudonym it. or not. Uh, let me check. Yes. Uh, does Jiraiya have a pseudonym? Uh, da 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 da. Jiraiya, oh, that didn't work. Does Jiraiya write erotica in Naruto? Uh... I can't find enough info on it right now. Um, I'm not 100% sure if he used a pseudonym or not. Uh, well, either but... way, Kakashi figured it out, or I guess found out somehow. And so, there's probably some way to connect it to him one way or another. Yeah, so I think that's the worst thing Jirai has ever done. I think he, he's, he's a repeat offender. Uh, I can't remember if he does have, like, some female fans who are... Like, fa like genuine fans of him and his work, and like, oh, Jiraiya. Well, he can writes your erotica, so almost certainly, yeah. Yeah, but then there are other women who, like, when they find out that he's peeping on him, will just beat the shit out of him. Uh, so I'd say he he's definitely more cancelable than Mineta, and he's yeah. probably on the higher end. Uh, next yeah, we um, have Rudius, unless you have more to talk about with him. Well, I won't. I can't say it because it's a spoiler, but uh, uh, he does have the greatest in-universe uh, case to not be canceled. But I can't say it because that's a spoiler. Okay, unfortunate. So perhaps he's not so cancelable after all. Yeah. Now, Rudy. I'd say I'd say he lands in oh. the mid range tier. In the mid. Okay, I'm I'm gonna yeah. take your word on that. I mean. If, there's also one little last wrinkle that there's no... Well, I, I, I don't know if we're counting this as a factor or not. Um, there's no internet in uh, Naruto at this point in time, so... 
Well, I'm imagining the version where after their shows, they just magically get plopped into this reality and start being a YouTuber or some kind of public okay. figure. Okay, yeah, so we're just assuming Twitter is in all of these worlds. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and in that case, I'd say he ranks in the middle of the scale. All right, so I'm going to give an interesting argument for Rudeus. Uh, Rudeus's cancellation is inevitable, but I think because it happened in real life. <laughs> well, yeah, but and, and here here's my case, right? The specific wording of the question is which one would get canceled first? And I think there is no universe where Rudeus gets canceled first. And here's why. It, 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 it hinges a little bit on having seen the anime. Rudeus is depicted as someone who is constantly putting up a facade. He's a, a very blatant social manipulator, right? He, he, there, there's this one scene in, uh, I think it's the final episode of the first core, and it's really fucked up, right? Rudeus and uh, Ko are watching these, I think they're three children, fighting this giant scorpion. And I hope I'm getting all the specific details right. It's been a while since I've watched Mushoku Tensei Season 1. But they're fighting the scorpion, and one of them... It'll, like, basically, they're all thinking about it like, yo, we should intervene. We're better fighters than them, clearly. But Rudeus is like, no. And his reasoning is that he wants those children to owe them a favor. Because he's just like that. He manipulates the people around him to his benefit. And so he's like, okay, hold on. We're going to save them last minute. Because if we save them right now, they're going to say, well, we could have taken on the monsters if you hadn't intervened, but thanks, I guess. But if we if we save them right before they die, they'll owe us one. And, you know, Rougier is like, fine, I guess I'll do it. And they wait, and they wait. Rougier, Rougier is like, yo, we should, like, really intervene. No, nope, hold it. And they wait, and they wait. Uh, and then a child gets murdered in front of their eyes, and it's Rudeus' fault, and he has a child's blood on his hands. Uh, sorry if I spoiled that for you. I probably should have said spoilers beforehand. Oops. Uh, I just assume you don't oh, well. care as much. Uh, you know, I can nah, put that nah, in the post for viewers. But, yeah, like, it, it's a really fucked up scene, and now you get to see firsthand, oh, Rudeus' actions and his social manipulation are, are maybe bad sometimes? Maybe they lead to uh, people dying because he so callously puts people in danger because he's just that much of a cold-hearted manipulator? But that's the thing, right? He's a manipulator. And so a lot of his like more messed up thoughts are things he keeps to himself or that he only does when he thinks he can get away with it. And when he thinks people in, you know, in positions of authority can't hold him accountable for it. So, like, he'll do all this messed up stuff to children, but only because it's, like, permitted by the people around him. Because he lives in a world as messed up as he is. And so, uh, he would uh, eventually get cancelled. But, like, who's gonna tell on him for the pedophilia? His victims were, are, are, like, Stockholm syndromed into being okay with it, you know, they, they like him. And so, or at least Eris does anyway. And so, like, yeah, it would eventually get out. You know, it, it, even his slavery tape, like, he, if he was in the real world, he wouldn't say that shit. And we know that because he was in the real world, and I doubt he said that shit. As far as we know, may, maybe he was cancelled uh, in the real world before he got isekai'd. I think be, Ru, people continuously, like, congratulate Rudeus in the show because he puts on this air of being so competent and hardworking and, you know, being a respectable person and, like, super smart for his age. And he uses that to his advantage constantly so to gain the respect of people, uh, you know, partially because he wants to turn around his image, but I also think he just likes power. And, you know, likes, you know, bending people to his whim, in a sense. And so I Tell think... Us, is it pedophilia to fuck, like, a 15-year-old girl when you're in, body, you're in the body of a 15-year-old, but you have the mind of, like, a 30-something-year-old? Listen, it was technically... Uh, Eris was technically the pedophile, because his body was actually 13 at the time. And how old was Eris? 
a 15. So it wouldn't act. It wouldn't actually be Dude. problematic on her end. I'm making. I'm doing a bit. Okay. I'm not being serious. Okay. I was gonna say you. You, you said it like it wasn't a bit. You said it like it genuinely. <laughs> no. No. He. Rudius would absolutely be the problem. I, I hate the word problematic. But yeah, he. It would be very problematic on his own. Yeah. So like that. Rudius is like. Even outside of just at getting like IRL canceled about the, the moment the slavery take drop, uh, he he's been catching heat ever since season one. You know, being like he's a a thirty year old in a you know child's body at the start of the series, uh, then getting caught in like some questionably lewd behavior, taking advantage of his like uh, does he comment on his mom or mom's tits or something when he's because uh, he keeps his adult thoughts as a baby. Yeah, I mean, he does a whole lot worse than that. That's, that's like, lower on his list of offenses. But yeah, like, he does very much savor being breastfed and whatnot. And, you know, <laughs> crawls around the house like a little monster stealing panties. And at one point does legitimately just grope Eris. Uh, with, I think it's, like, halfway through season one. Uh, you know, it's, it's while she's sleeping, so uh, that's... Oof. Did he ever do anything to Roxy? Uh, he keeps her panties as a sacred holy relic that he intends to pass down to his children. Uh, it, it's partially played up That's for laughs. I don't think he, I'm not sure if he actually intends to pass it down as a relic, but he does, uh, like, blatantly keep them around. Like, they, he wants to keep them. And, like, the first time... And is Roxy a, okay with that? Uh, not entirely. Does she even know that they're gone? Oh god, I I think she does find out, and is not like completely okay with it. But it's just like, oh well, you're a child, because everyone gives him the benefit of the doubt because he is in a child's body. Uh, and then at this point, uh, I know you haven't seen season two yet, but uh, I've seen I think I've seen a few clips. I know that there's this I've one seen elf some girl clips. with like. With like black sun, like sharp common of sunglasses that look like they don't belong in the time period that this show is supposed to take place in at all. Yeah, uh, it's but... fits and it's definitely not silky. <laughs> okay, um, uh, I, just, I like context for that. Uh, t uh, how many uh, sex slave wives does he have at this point? Or if not slaves, then uh, people who are you know just exist to suck his dick. Uh, okay, I know he has two slaves, and I know he treats them very poorly. I do not know if he goes that far with them. Uh, yeah, I, I don't actually know. I would hope not, because that would get a little... <laughs> I know he's already despicable, but that would start to reach, like... <laughs> that would reach the point where I'm like, uh, you went through two, uh, like an entire season of development and you're still this bad. Or in fact, doing worse things than before. Uh, so I would hope not. But he does in fact keep them as slaves, which is bad. Yeah, I feel like the thing with Rudeus is that despite him being, uh, like not as... Uh, evil or heartless or callous as uh, guys like Frieza or Gato on this list, I feel like he has the widest like spread of allegations against him. Like he has a variety of things that he's done that is uh, much wider than you know. You know, Frieza is only guilty of being a racist and a murderer. Granted, he has a much bigger body count than probably everyone on this list combined, but. That, you know, if you want to just quantify mass murder as one thing and racism as one thing, then Rudeus, uh, is into slavery, is arguably a pedophile, uh... Arguably? A, no, inarguably. <laughs> okay, in, inarguably a pedophile, uh... Well, what else? Uh... It, not only is he okay with slavery, he participates in it. Uh, he has allowed children to die. Yeah, as part of his manipulation. You know, I think a better question would be, what awful thing hasn't he done? I feel like Rudy yeah, is and, sort and of at that level. And considering that he did, in fact, get IRL cancelled for a slavery take, 
I feel like he's got to be like near the top of the list. We'll see, you could say that, but he would hide it is the thing. I'm sure it'd catch up to him eventually, but he's not as open. I mean, if we're going off of the question, which one would be uh, would get canceled first? I don't think he'd be near the top of that list. Now, if we're talking I... about who would get the canceled the hardest once their allegations come out, uh, yeah, he'd absolutely be like near the top of the list, if not number. One. Yeah, and, and unlike characters like uh, Frieza or Makima, uh, I feel like Rudeus is not equipped enough to fight back or at least like do something so drastic that the threat of getting canceled is negligible i mean i guess but i mean I i'm still dubious as to whether or not uh the, the whole oh well they can't cancel me because i'll just kill them thing really works out because they are still in at the end of the day the cancellation happens first i i suppose I still, I don't know enough about uh, Rudeus because I haven't seen Shoku Tensei outside of the first episode, uh, which has been like so long ago. I will take your word for it that he's probably a manipulator in order to, you know, for, for, to have so many girls vying for his dick uh, and to be in the situation that he is at the point of the show that he is. I would say that he's definitely got to be some sort of you know, manipulator to the point to keep that shit under wraps because we've we've seen that happen on Twitter. The people who do get canceled, a, a good number of them, uh, just hide it or like blackmail or coerce people to keep that shit under wraps until something you know something just gives. Yeah, like most of Rudius's worst aspects are almost solely told like through his monologue. Like he doesn't let it out of the mask he puts up. And it's part of why he's interested. It's also part it of why it is in fact what it, the it point of the mask while. is. It do be what the point of the mask is. Uh, next we have Ghetto Suguru. Uh, his uh, crimes he... are racism. Yeah, and but once in a similar boat to Frieza Makima, he might be in a position where he could just kill people and anyone trying to cancel him. Although he is in a position where he can't just kill any human because he would have the uh the the soul the not soul society but sorcery uh society on his ass and uh he he has stated that he needs some hum he keeps some humans alive because they he needs them to go to him for his uh uh service where he gets builds up his revenue and collects curses so he can build up his arsenal yeah, but he also does keep the racism sort of under wraps. But in this case, there is a uh, sorcery society there to cancel him to begin with. Who know that he is a racist. I, I feel like this is a, like, a, a society as a whole, because uh, sorcery society and real life society are very uh, segregated. I <laughs> In universe, I still have a hard time understanding how they're able to do all that shit out in the open like that and no one like is able to like get any footage of it at all even with all like their veil shit i don't get how like the people in suits uh are, and how they're so connected with the government unless they're like uh like, like hydra and shield and how they just have moles planted within society maybe that's it but i mean i guess nobody can really see curses uh, although I imagine uh, but it, it could just be like, uh, may, maybe the people who do see it, uh, end up... I know, I'd imagine the like way he gets canceled podcast. is just that, uh, that what, one hurt one person that goes to Gato to get, like, their bad juju removed, or what they don't realize is a curse removed, and then, uh, maybe they, like, hear it on their way out, and he's just like, ah, oh, fucking monkey, he says it under his breath, but they're able to catch it, and then they go online about it like yo this uh this priest uh said something pretty racist yeah they, they like whip out their phone record in vertical mode and you know j just get it like just barely his you know maybe he doesn't know he's being recorded he's going you know ranting and raving about it i could see that happening yeah and... i feel like he would 
Uh, especially, we also have to keep this in mind. Uh, because they don't, he, normal people don't know what, uh, curses are and they're not familiar with cursed society. He, they probably don't realize that when he says, uh, monkeys, they're not referring to, uh, he, he's referring to, you know, hu, hu, non curse wielding humans. But it, they could just think that he could mean, like, you know, uh, a Africans or black people. You know, what we, uh, or at the very least, uh, people, racist people in real life who would use the term monkeys, uh, that is most commonly the racial slur used for it. Yeah, so it, it looks even worse to them. So I, I'd say that's pretty cancelable. Yeah, I, yeah, Gato would rank definitely high up on the list. And last of all, we have Kazuma. Uh... Let's see, uh, we, ha we have to keep this in mind, uh, Kazuma, before he gets isekai is a literally, like, waste of space nobody, who probably goes on Twitter and, uh, ah, fuck, ah, uh, goes on Twitter and says, is like, uh, I yearn for true gender equality and will not, uh, hesitate to dropkick a woman, uh, it, you know, wh whatever, uh, all of that stuff. But, it, like, in real life, he's a fucking, you know, waste of space nobody. Uh, dies of a heart attack of what he thinks is a truck about to hit him, but it's actually a slow-moving tractor, and he pisses himself. Uh, he, he's just, like, a fucking, like, loser nobody. Then in the Konosuba world, he, uh, is a, a deviant. He has tried to see his, uh, female companions naked multiple times. He gets... Punished sometimes or thwarted at other times, like when he tries to peek on Megumine and uh, Darkness, they just uh, punch him through the wall and throw a bunch of soap at him. And then when he tries to uh, take advantage of the Darkness, uh, well, granted he thought that was a dream Darkness, but uh, when Darkness comes in in season one to the bathhouse and she sees him naked in the bath. And then he tries to get her to, you know, like clean clean his back for him uh, with her chest, and gets a. Uh, it's very. It's kind of an icky situation. Not a good look for him if he were to come to light. Yeah, uh, admittedly, I he also a publicly steals panties on the reg, but it looks like, uh, like the regular, like the male adventurers are pretty cool with it. <laughs> well, yeah, but I'm. <laughs> I mean, that's just the male ones. Yeah, the, he, he's not popular with the ladies in the in Konosuba. That, that is canon. Well, I can't imagine why. Yeah, it's been... Oh god, how long has it been since I've watched Konosuba? It's the longest out of any of the shows that I have watched from here by far. And so, my memories yeah, 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 are very you better. You, you better catch up, or at least get yourself refreshed soon, because season three uh, comes out. Uh, do we have a, a date for it? Uh, supposedly next year, so. 2024. Right. Don't, I don't think we have an exact season, but we do. We know it's coming next year. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll almost certainly rewatch it at some point soon, ish. I say about almost every show ever, but yeah, I mean, I do remember it being quite funny. Yeah, uh, I feel like Kazuma is kind of like almost the Scott Pilgrim of uh, anime, whereas he's, you know, a, not a good guy, and uh, um, and the things he's done are bad, but they're not, they're not so bad that he's beyond redemption. And at the end of the day, he does still do good things. Like the Kazuma has repeatedly sacrificed his life multiple times. You no. Know? Despite knowing that he will, he can just get revived and brought back from the dead. He has uh, willingly allowed himself to die to save the to save the day. Yeah. Uh. I don't know where he'd go because uh, on the one hand, yeah, he's not like his crimes aren't the worst of all. But on the other hand, he makes no effort to hide them. You know, he's just like like everyone just kind of knows that he's a loser, and so. It's not the same thing where it's like, you know, someone like Makima would manipulate people into not canceling her. 
with him, he would just, you know, it would be kind of inevitable. Yeah, I feel like he ranks a little low on the list because the, the things that he's done are in in universe uh like all the the guys are they they're party at the bar they see him steal uh the thief girl's panties and he's just like you know swinging them around and they're all like cheering him on like you fuck yeah dude uh i'm not sure if i agree with that because it, it's a very public knowledge i guess it, it, he makes no effort to hide it would be my argument as to why he'd be more around like middle to I can't imagine being super high. Yeah, but in universe, like so many people. Are well, cool I'm imagining with it. a wor a world where in e in each of their, like where Twitter exists. I'm imagining if if we set them up to the Twitter court, how would they fare? Uh, in that case, he'd probably land a little middling, but he's definitely not passing like the real bastards on here, like uh, Freezer Gato. Yeah, so with all that said, we should come up how, with how are we, a... How, wait, how do we rank from least uh, cancelable to most cancelable? We, we both well, agree we, Denji's... We both that, agree, uh, yeah, last Denji's, Denji's lowest. Doesn't even deserve to be on the list, honestly. Dude, Himeno would be a better fit, and even she's, like, dubious. Yeah. Uh, uh, after uh, then, that... I... Hmm... I would say the next person might be Kazuma. Uh, I feel like it'd be Mei Mei. And the reason why is because we still don't... It, us as fans don't even have confirmation as to whether or not her relationship with her brother is like, legitimately incestuous. And so we... Uh, like, although she'd get weird looks for it, uh, although it does, it, it is a bad look. I will admit, it's bad optics. But but she does have her get out of jail free card, as in, she, there is no proof. Hmm. Yeah. You're never late, so it, it it's a tough. I feel like her and Kazuma would be near Kazuma, each other on the list. Everything you've learned of how to fight. Yeah. Uh, here's a fun thing to think about. Would Aqua, Megamine, and Darkness come to Kazuma's aid if he get if he got canceled on Twitter? Uh, God, this is they canonically really did not come to his aid when he was getting a uh, framed for uh, crimes against the kingdom at the end of season one, and he gets arrested at the start of season two. Well, in that case, they'd almost certain like it's just cancellation. They'd say, "Nah, bitch, you deserve it." <laughs> I mean, he does try to uh, get in Megumin's pants in the movie, which she is how old seemingly is a little again? receptive to. Make what? mean age. Okay, so she wait, she's fifteen. And how old is Kazuma? Hold on, this changes. I think Kazuma's like sixteen. Kazuma. Oh, seventeen. Oh, he's only seventeen, never mind. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's technically fine. Okay, <laughs> okay that And Darkness is nineteen. Alright, that's I actually thought Kazuma was a little older for some reason. Okay. He wouldn't get cancelled for that. Well, okay, he would a little bit, but uh, like, like, mostly for some of the other shit. No, there's no problematic age gap between a 15-year-old and a 17-year-old. Yeah. Uh, in that case, I guess I am fine with putting Kazuma lower than Mei Mei. Yeah. Uh, okay, then, then Mei Mei. Next... Yeah, then Mei Mei. Uh, then... I would say Mineta. If only because, uh, he... I feel like of all the characters on this list, Mineta would be the most likely to change his way. Because I feel like that is the arc that uh, if... Okay, well, I feel like we're having a bit of a, a bit of trouble with the question. Are we going off of w w uh, what the original tweet says with which would get cancelled first? Or are we saying which one is the most cancelable? Because I feel like Mineta would, would get cancelled really fast, but then change his way. Uh, change his ways and have redemption. I, I I suppose we should keep it to the question of who would get canceled first. Uh, in which case, I still would say, 
See, the, the, the biggest case against Mineta is that he's been, like Rudeus uh, and Makima, IRL cancelled by the fandom. Whereas, like, every other character on this... Whereas, like, every other character on this... Well, actually, Mei Mei has also been a little... Not nearly to the same extent as uh, Rudeus, Makima, and Mineta, but uh, m more so than every one of the characters on this list. Frieza has never been cancelled because... You know, he's a villain. He's not supposed to be a good person that you relate to and look up to. He is a fucking... The main villain of Dragon Ball Z. Of the entire Dragon Ball franchise. So in that case, I feel like ne if we're going off of which one will get cancelled the fastest. I feel like next would be Makima, only based off of what I know. And you can contradict me here because you actually know what she does later. But I feel like she's a good enough manipulator that it would have enough stands that she could survive. I feel like Jiraiya would get cancelled before uh, Makima because she would manipulate it long enough so that way... Yeah, that's no, why I'm saying Ma uh, Majima... Not Majima. Makima is next. Like, before... Well, no, not before. Like, she'd get... She'd survive longer without being cancelled. Yeah, yeah, she she would survive longer. She's, uh... that She is... I can't go into it without saying it, but she might be at, like, the top of the list of uh would uh, get cancelled last okay so after that uh let's see well let, uh, let, let, wait I'm, let me make sure we have this list in order first so we've got denji then kazuma then mei mei uh well I, I i am thinking if we're keeping it to the original question kazuma would uh, d granted, I, I have almost no memory of these instances. Uh, like of him taking panties, whatever. Uh, are they like... Uh, he... Little, like, is he just stealing people's panties? Or is it like off of their bodies? He uses a steal, uh, technique. Where he... You remember where he just like said... It's the steal spell where he just says steal and then, uh, the girl's panties teleport from their body okay, to his Okay, I'm hand. getting vague memories of this now. Yeah, he, the first time he does it, he uses it on the thief girl because she's trying to steal, like, the, the handkerchief out of her hand that she's holding up, but he, she, he ends up stealing her panties. Uh, then the second time, she uses it, he uses it on Megamine on purpose. Because I, I think maybe he was trying to steal his uh, her staff, but ended up taking her panties anyway. Then he uses it on the thief girl again when she walks into the bar in, in a hilarious joke where... Uh, he's trying- one of the guys in the bar is like, Yo, Cosmo, use your seal technique, bro! Seal this, uh, napkin out of my hand! And he's like, alright, steal! And then the thief girl comes and like, Yo, I heard Cosmo's buying drinks! And then, uh, her panties ends up in his hands. And then everyone in the bar cheers like, Yo! Oh, well, those were all accidents on his end, right? I mean, he probably, uh, probably doesn't mind that they're accidents, but... He doesn't mind. I mean, with the Megamead one, when he, uh gets the the Megumi's panties she he straight up like pulls them out like uh what one hand on each end and like uh hey Megumi, care to explain why you're wearing something like this yeah i mean he'd at least have an excuse is what i'd say he'd at least be like hey yo, he, it, it was an it was an accident yeah he's got he's he's it's a shaky alibi that he probably is like oh thank you know what a what a happy little accident that was but an alibi nonetheless Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna put. I actually want to swap the order of him and Mei Mei. Because he does have the alibi, the shaky one. But I feel like it's shaky enough that Mei Mei would last just a little longer without being cancelled. If we're going purely off of speed. Yeah. Uh, the next, like, slowest to get cancelled. Uh, I offered Makima just because she's a known yeah. manipulator. Yeah, Ma yeah, Makima because she's a manipulator. You know, I feel like Makima's manipulation actually might put ne definitely not uh, before Denji because Denji is nothing to be canceled over. But I feel like she has enough manipulation, especially with you know spoilers. But I won't say. Uh, you you'll have to take my word for it that her uh, abilities would allow her to get stay uncancelled the longest uh outside of denji who doesn't even belong on the list okay so you know what I i'm gonna take your word for that 
And so it would go Denji, Makima, and then did you say Meimei or Kazuma next? Uh, Ka no, Meimei next, and then Kazuma. Okay, yeah, Meimei, Kazuma. Then, uh, let's see, between the five So we're left. undecided on Frieza, and so I really want to hash this out. Uh, I am of the opinion, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and stick to my guns to this. All right, so the point of the tweet, which of them would get cancelled first? It never specifies successful cancellation. Is that? And so therefore, I'm arguing that Frieza would get cancelled really fucking fast. Given what I've been told about him. Uh, yes, granted, the cancellation is... would end very abruptly, but he would, yes, nonetheless, he would have the, the cancellation would happen. Yes. So, I, if we're going just off of, you know, speed of cancellation, I would say Frieza is probably... I mean, he's we'll, literally we'll put, space we'll... Hitler. There's no one more cancelled than Hitler. Yeah, so I feel like we'll put him and Gato and... Okay, the it should be a three-way tie for, like, first place between Frieza, Gato, and Rudeus. I do not, uh, I then, don't, uh, I don't agree with that. And here, because of the stuff with Rudeus being a manipulator, he would get cancelled the hardest, except for maybe Frieza, because he's an awful person. Frieza would you get cancelled Rudeus... harder, but Rudeus would get cancelled the second hardest. Yeah, well, Rudeus okay, would well, get cancelled mm. really hard. Yeah, actually, no, even considering what Makima does, probably second hardest. But, uh, definitely uh, okay, top three. So does top Frieza three try to... Although, actually, I'm gonna pull a weird argument. Would Earth know of Frieza's existence? Because he he is. He, uh, well, he if we're assuming that they have Twitter, if we're assuming that they have Twitter, then yes. All right, so we, he'd be like this indestructible force in the galaxy that is destroying planets, right? Just give me your yes. And I'll head to the hmm. That is pretty cancelable, however, we would also be fearing for our lives. So he'd be like uh, the number one imminent he... threat to humanity. Everyone would be cancelling him. You're right. Thank you. he... Yeah, but then would you want to cancel him, uh, knowing that you trying to cancel him would bring about the end of the world? I don't think people would have enough self-control to not cancel him. Even if that, that is was a good widespread point. knowledge, I think people on Twitter would still cancel him anyway and cause our that, that is That is a good point considering, like, you know, the, sometimes people would try to get some guy canceled when they didn't do anything bad at all. Not gonna lie, I think Frieza tops the list. Like, based off of everything you're telling me, I think he's number one in, in sheer speed of cancellation. As soon as we discover yeah, his existence, Yeah, Frieza would definitely tweet out, I hate those fucking Saiyan monkeys. He, he like, his timeline would be nothing but uh, racist Saiyan propaganda. And so in that sense, uh, I I'm gonna say Frieza number one in terms of speed of cancellation. Yes, I I'll agree with you there. He would get canceled the fastest, but it if, 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 if it's any thing to note, uh, the, the duration of... Him getting canceled to Earth still existing would be the he shortest would get canceled time for the shortest time. Like he would get canceled for about <laughs> I don't know, like what five minutes. Uh, as soon as he finds out about it, to the end of the world, because he 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 is a planet buster. Yeah. All right, you're cutting out real bad, so I'm gonna disconnect and reconnect to the call and see if that fixes it. All right. Uh, he 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 is a planet buster. Yeah, so he'll just go to the planet immediately upon seeing it. Like, how fast can he travel to the planets? Like, immediately? Yes. Well, he, not immediately, but uh, he can fly faster than light, so pretty, pretty fucking fast. Yeah, okay, so we'd be screwed as soon as he figured out. Like, matter, uh, like, anywhere yeah, from, like, um, like, ten seconds min to minutes ten minutes. to, a like... Yeah, f five minutes. It's all we're getting. Yeah, and by the way, yes, you are still cutting out. Uh, like, this is actually insufferable. I can barely oh, hear what they're it? saying. Yeah, oh, I, mean, God, I guess we'll yeah, just wrap it up as quickly as possible. No, I think it's my Wi-Fi. All right, well, let's hope a little bit. 
Nope, that did not fix it at all. You are still cutting out. Okay, it's definitely uh, your Wi-Fi then, because I've got full bars over yeah, it's my Yeah, definitely, it's definitely my Wi-Fi. I will just have to uh, get through it. We've only got to, uh, to rank them. Yeah, all right. So Frieza at the top of list in terms of speed of cancellation. Then, all right, so between him and uh, we decided that... Uh, yeah, so... Then I would say... Him, between him and Mei Mei. Gato would get cancelled the second fastest. Yeah. I mean, he's pretty racist, and I am... Because he is willing to be racist when people have, like, just finished visiting him or under his breath. Because he can just barely hold in the demon of racism. I feel like someone would overhear it. And, do, do you, you know, think he would stop himself Twitter. from being able to tweet... Do you think he'd be able to stop himself oh, from tweeting you're about how right. much he hates uh If he was on an anonymous too. account, he absolutely like, like he would have ten burners, each of them tweeting the N word constantly. Or I guess the <laughs> N word. Well, maybe not necessarily case. the N word, but the the M he, he would use racial slurs for every every race that doesn't have jujitsu powers. Exactly. He he'd have like an entire thesaurus of every slur for races. And in just he'd be so learned on the yeah, top. Yeah, so he he, he would have them memorized the in every fast. language. Yeah, then I would say Jiraiya would get canceled the third fastest because he is a celebrity uh and an adult whereas Mineta is a my when we're comparing them relatively, he is uh, a less popular celebrity, if any at all, and uh, also has the benefit, the defense of being a teenager. Yeah, he'd definitely be cancelled faster than Mineta, uh, for sure. Because, yeah, Mineta at least has an excuse. I feel like that excuse could he uh, keep him going a little longer. Yeah, and, and also there's nothing that Mineta has done that Jiraiya has not uh done himself so yeah uh so after jiraiya uh i i do want to clarify although rudius is a manipulator i would not call him a master manipulator like makima for sure and so that definitely although it does delay it do, do we want to put rudius like in like the middle of the scale yeah uh, probably around middle scale so let's see Mm. I'd be willing to go yeah, either right way with him and Mineta. So. Because Mineta, although he would... Uh, see, Mineta would get cancelled really fast is the thing. Uh, yeah, I feel like Mineta... Uh, yeah, so Denji, Makima, Kazuma, Meimei. Rudy, Mineta, Jiraiya, Geto, Frieza. Uh... Yeah, that seems about right. Uh, I will say the only thing All that right. would probably do Rudy in is the fact that other people do know of his crimes, that he has not kept it airtight, and so it's on them to keep the secret. I think I can trust Rudy to keep his own secret, but at some point it's gonna come down the grapevine. Yeah. Would 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 Rudy be as open about his uh? Pedophilia and uh, sex uh, deviancy and slave owning, as uh, Gato and Frieza would about their racism on Twitter. No way. If they had the platform. Because, because uh, Gato and Frieza are are like going against the grain, going against what is common morality. I assume for uh, Frieza anyway. Uh, and so they're already contrarians, but Rudius appeals to popularity. And so he would be quiet about any deviant thoughts he has. Yeah, I, I, I agree, and I think that would land him squarely in the middle. Because I feel like he it would definitely catch up to him. It would only be a matter of time before uh, like it just comes out about him, rather than him tweeting it out himself. Yeah. So this is the definitive version of the list. And if you disagree with us, you are objectively and factually incorrect. Uh, but le be yeah, sure to well, leave your let us know your list down comments. in the comments. Yeah, e even if it is incorrect. And, uh, and I think that'll that... do her for the. Uh, this is the fourth episode of Castaway, anyway, right? 
Or yeah. I, I noticed that you didn't count the uh, the the Pokemon tier list as a. No, I, I forgot. Anyway, I just I just so forgot to be... put it in the title. But it's on the playlist, and I did eventually remember and put it in the in the title. Quite all right. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. This is the fourth episode then. You still cared for me. Yeah. All right. So all right, that'll well, do her for that, the I guess fourth episode, do her for this episode. Anyway. Yep. All right. See you, dudes. All right, my child.